In this week's video, I'll be showing you how to do these Practical Magic Summer Solstice themed nails. So please keep watching to see how I did this step by step. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I post weekly nail tutorials, primarily polygel nail tutorials and nail art tutorials using press-ons. But today's video is actually using a Gel X dupe. I have actually only ever done Gel X once before, so I just wanted to kind of test it out, but hopefully in my next video or the next time I do it, I can show you how I actually did the application and all of that. And with these weekly nail tutorials, my goal is really just to help you see how I do my nail sets in depth, step by step. I know when I was a beginner, watching YouTube videos helped me out a lot, so I hope it helps you as well. So we're just starting off with our base using some different gel polishes. I wanted to use some really earthy colors. If you haven't seen Practical Magic, I would recommend checking it out. It's a really nice kind of summerween movie, but it has a lot of earthy colors in it. So I wanted to use this kind of reddish orange. I'm just using a liner brush to kind of help clean up the cuticle area. It can be really difficult to polish with just a brush itself. So a liner brush can really help. And we're just gonna lay down a matte top coat. I like to use a matte top coat just to create a really smooth base before doing any nail art. So once you remove that sticky layer from the matte top coat, once it's cured in your lamp, you will have a nice smooth base. So once we've cured that, we're just taking some isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free wipe and removing the sticky layer and you will see that we have a matte finish. And you can definitely put back a glossy top coat at the end, it doesn't affect that at all. And here are some of the different colors we're gonna be using to start off. So we're gonna be using that same kind of sage green that I have on the thumb to start drawing some flowers. Lavender, rosemary, flowers, and herbs are a big theme in this movie, so I definitely wanted to incorporate this. And if you want to add a little bit more dimension to your nail art, what you can do is leave the base uncured and then take a lighter version of that color, so like that neon green here, and just feather it in. Sometimes I like to do it when it's cured, but in this case I'm doing it while it's uncured, and it really blends in together nicely, adds in some highlight and dimension. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the lavender, just taking a dark purple and using kind of a dotting motion to create some texture. And then we're gonna feather in some light purple and some white. You can just have fun with this. It's not supposed to look perfect. It's just to add some shading and dimension. So we're kind of going for a little bit more of a realistic look here versus like a cartoon look. So I wasn't too worried about making the colors look perfect and was just trying to incorporate a little bit of each just to kind of help balance it out. So just continuing with that kind of dotting motion here and adding in some light purple. You might want to use less than you think for some of these colors or else it may overtake kind of the base that you've laid down. So just a little bit on your brush goes a very long way. And here's an example of what I mean by that. So you can see like I have very, very little white polish on my brush. That's really just all you need to kind of add some more highlighting. Next, we're gonna draw some rosemary. So to create a little bit of like an angled line with different kind of line weights, if that makes sense, what you wanna do is apply more pressure where you want it to be thicker and then lift your brush up towards the end where you'd kind of like it to feather out. So just play around with the pressure of your brush and that'll give you kind of different line weights, if that makes sense. And then you can go ahead and add in your light green to add in some shading, just like we did for the lavender. While I'm doing that, I do wanna just say that I know I haven't been posting weekly like I normally have been, but I'm working on some really exciting nail projects right now that I hope to share with you all soon. So that's just been taking up a little bit more of my time, but definitely trying to get back into it. And we're just gonna add our glossy top coat once that's all cured and you can see how that turned out. Next, I'm taking some black shading gel. This is from Nails by Deb, or you can use some black gel polish mixed with top coat. And we are sketching out a simplified version of the house in Practical Magic. This is such a key part of the movie as well. The whimsical, magical kind of theme of it. It's just a really nice kind of beautiful older house set by the seaside. I'll pop up a picture here now. And I just wanted to do a simplified version of that. So we're just filling in the roof with that same gray that we used on the middle finger and then we're filling in the house 
with a white gel polish. This was definitely the most challenging part of the nail set, especially painting on my thumb, just kind of getting the angles right. But I just wanted to see it all the way through, even if it's not gonna turn out totally perfect. And I'm just adding a second layer of white here just to make it a little bit more pigmented. And then we're gonna go in and add some shading using a kind of mini blender brush and just using that same black shading gel just to add in a little bit of dimension on the roof. I did fully cure that base color underneath before going in and adding my shading. And I did add some of that shading to the white part of the house as well. And then I'm taking that black shading gel and just drawing some really imperfect lines for the roof shingles. We're going for a little bit more of a realistic look here. So I didn't want it to be too perfect and kind of sticker or cartoon looking. So this is where the black shading gel is really great because it's not as pigmented versus a black liner gel, which definitely has a purpose here as well. We're gonna use this to outline the house and the balcony and outlining with a black liner gel can be really intimidating it's something that i'm still constantly learning how to do better every time i do a nail set but you just want to keep a little bit of product on your brush and try to keep your touch light especially if you're doing thin lines you really just want to focus on using the point of your brush like we're doing here and don't overthink it just do the best you can it'll come together at the end adding some small lines here for the balcony, keeping our touch very light. And we're gonna go ahead and cure that and then add some greenery in the background. Again, this movie has just so much greenery, foliage, and it's just a big part of kind of the whimsical nature of it. So we're just taking a dark green polish and using kind of a dotting stippling motion side to side, very Bob Ross, I guess you could say, and then adding in some other colors to kind of layer it together. I did not cure when I did this. I kind of did them on top of each other, a couple colors at a time, cured, and then went back and added more like the brown, added some light green as well. So just have fun with it. Just kind of keep layering the colors to your liking. Again, not trying to make this look like a sticker, just kind of keeping it a little bit abstract and realistic. And then we're gonna add in our glossy top coat over that and finish off the thumb. This is the hardest part of the nail set. So now let's move on to the isolated chrome, which is very popular, but can be tricky to kind of get right. So I like to use the matte top coat method. So I apply my matte top coat, fully cure it, remove the sticky layer with some alcohol, and then again with some young nail swipe, really getting in there. You have to have like a really clean surface for the chrome to not stick you need either a non-wipe black gel or you can mix some non-wipe top coat with some black gel polish non-wipe is the key here and i use a little bit more top coat than i do black gel polish in this case just mix it together on my palette the koopa gel top coat works great for this and i will have on my amazon storefront linked below which has all of these products on there so keeping in line with our theme here i wanted to draw some sun and stars and the moon also very summer solstice themed, and then add some gold chrome powder. So I'm taking that mixture that we made, drawing a circle for the sun, and then drawing the moon, just sketching it out. It can be a little bit difficult with the top coat because it's not as easy to see, but just take your time, do it bit by bit, cure that for no more than 20 to 30 seconds, and then rub in your chrome powder. You can use your finger as well, but make sure you wear gloves, and then wipe it off with a makeup sponge and then it should be pretty much not sticking to the nail and i wanted to do this in two parts i've done this before and it seems to work fine so i'm gonna draw the rest of the nail now just drawing this rest of the sun here just adding some swirly lines and adding some stars with a dotting tool and a liner brush just adding in those small details and again we are going to cure for no more than 20 to 30 seconds and then rub in that chrome powder with either an applicator or your glove and really take your time getting in there you know less is actually more with chrome powder you don't want to use too much so i like to do a combination of both the finger and the applicator and then rub off the excess with the makeup sponge. The makeup sponge is really key here. It picks up the chrome powder really well. 
And then I wanted to add a little bit more on top of the sun just to make a little bit more dimension. So I added some more on top of there and added more chrome powder. Once it's dusted off, I do cure one more time and then I top coat it. I like to use the same Koopa top coat because the chrome powder can kind of mess up your top coat. So you might want to keep a designated top coat separate for that just to be safe. Meaning like some small particles can still get on your top coat. So better to just have a separate one for that. Then we're gonna draw a love potion. So just taking some black liner gel and carefully trying to outline the heart and the top of the potion bottle. Just drawing the circular top here, breaking it down piece by piece. And then we're gonna draw the base. You can see I'm trying to keep my touch very light and use the tip of my brush. I didn't want the lines to be too, too thick and I tried to make them as precise as possible. And then we're gonna fill it in with a mixture of purple gel polish and top coat, which kind of gave it a jelly look. I thought that would look cool for kind of the potion effect. So I'm just filling in the center here. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's supposed to look like there's kind of like a liquid in there, right? Looking a little bit mystical. And then we're gonna add in some pink gel polish and then just kind of outline and add in that effect to the rest. And then once we are done with that, we're gonna cure and then just use our black liner gel to fill in the rest of the outline. You can use a different color here if you wanted to. Just keep in mind when you're using gel paint, you wanna keep it pretty light in the sense if you don't wanna pile it on because it is very pigmented compared to gel polish. So you just wanna make sure you're not overdoing it or else it may have trouble curing. And then I just wanted to add some more accents. So just drawing some rosemary here again with that sage green gel polish and then adding in that same neon green. Again, using that technique of just alternating the pressure of our brush to kind of draw thinner lines that transition, sorry, thicker lines that transition to thinner lines. Once that's cured, we're gonna add our top coat and we are down to the last nail. So, so for the pinky, we're just gonna do a simple butterfly design with this outline with the black gel paint. Use a dotting tool to draw those circles that are kind of in the outline and the body of the butterfly. Then using a small liner brush to just draw simple wings. I didn't wanna make it too complicated for the pinky. Just keeping it fairly simple. Once we have the outline, we're gonna use that same mixture of the purple gel polish mixed with top coat, adding a little bit more pink here. And we're gonna just top coat that once it's cured and we are done with this nail set. Here is how this Practical Magic theme set turned out. Very earthy, very whimsical, had a lot of fun doing this. I will list the products used and my socials below. And I will see you in next week's video. We're going to definitely be doing some more summer nail looks, so stay tuned.